For those of you who didn't know, Project Awakening is an open world action RPG still in the making though and it ain't no clickbait either. I mean, look at the ray tracing right there. Now only a few of you know about this game when it was revealed a long time ago, but would you believe it, after all the wait we finally found out currently a team of about a hundred people is actually working on this game, so keep it in mind, this game is actually coming out sometime next year. say one of the most underrated open world souls-like games that's been in the making for the past few years is Bleak Faith Forsaken, which is also an RPG of course and incorporating survival horror elements. Bleak Faith was originally funded by a Kickstarter campaign a little less than three years ago and now coming out next year and into both PCs and consoles now. Here's what we've somehow managed to miss out just a month ago. Adelpha has been under Atalan's care. We are the keepers of all Yod's creations. No more than three months ago, THQ Nordic revealed Outcast 2, A New Beginning, which is one of the cult classic games that date back to more than 20 years ago. An award-winning open-world adventure game set on an alien planet and first of its kind too. Check this out. Outcast 2 is now targeting the PlayStation 5, PCs and Xbox Series X sometime possibly early next year. Zevolution, or Zevolution. Totally new to me, but an open world post apocalyptic multiplayer survival game that offers a huge world with a lot of different biomes and possibilities, including the underground and the open sea, so they say. Hell, you can even farm in this game, play in a first and third person view, but the crazy part, however, is the team behind the game has pledged over $700,000 on Kickstarter and a release date of 2022 and into pieces only. Check right. this out.
just in case you've missed out, there is at least four to five Dino Crisis inspired games on the way, and they're not even far from release. The latest of which on the gaming scene, however, is another survival horror game going by Instinction. Check it out, this game is targeting consoles and PCs mid to late next year. Also mentioned, I'd have to say, no more than a week ago in an open world related video, the day before, which is an open world survival horror MMO in the making for more than two years now, went on and got itself a release date of June 21st next year. This game is now coming to PCs first, then into PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X sometime afterwards. And we're here, as always, to accompany the news they even came up with a trip. Elden Ring went almost gold as well with the release date of February 25 next year and is now coming to every single platform except Switch for unknown reasons, obvious ones. Um, from Software's Elden Ring is gonna be an open world game, but also keeping all the good old Souls-like elements. And just in case you've missed, there's a lot of new gameplay they came up with. Yeah. the powerful leader of the free people you once were. Your word carries little weight now. Moving on then, THQ Nordic also released a new trailer for another one of its open world action RPGs that goes by Elix. Two. So this game eventually lands on the Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One and the PlayStation consoles and PCs March 1st next year. This is the sequel to the first Elix that came out only four years ago, developed by the same team behind games like Gothic. Check this out. Guards, throw them out! You are no longer an owl commander, but it's because of you that we recognize the value of emotion and increase our efficiency. Go where help is needed, then help. As far as I'm concerned, that's all it takes for me to treat you as a cleric. Let him through. I want to see Kaya. 
If only you had been a real father to Dex, none of this would have happened. You'll never be part of a faction. You've got no loyalty to anyone but yourself. Fuckers like you are dangerous. I'm keeping an eye on you. Alb and outlaw scum to the north. Berserkers and clerics to the west. Soon the heretics will atone for their sins. stood sin. against each other. War broke out. Was it a little bird? Met a broken leg. Hope died. Dying Light 2 Stay Human, however, a story-driven open-world action RPG that just received the title Takeland's Baby, also possibly the biggest zombie survival game to be released for the past couple centuries. Right, that's just stupid. But nonetheless, a parkour-based first-person experience 20 years after the events of the first Dying Light is now coming out. February 4th next year and into all consoles and PCs, and this is how it looks like. Fuck! Hey! Still some rats here! I have to pick a side, but the Zar needs good people. You're doing great so far. I have to make a difference. <laughs> Let's check and see. They say that great change is a series of small gestures. Hi, I'm Jim Boone, Chief Creative Officer at Volition. We're excited to show you a bit more of one of our new Saint Row features, Criminal Ventures. This is where all our dreams come true. Moving on though, there's a couple of new trailers on the new Saints Row that came out away no more than a week ago, giving us a really good look at what the gameplay is, the world itself, combat, and even the rides through some actual missions. In a pre-alpha state though, so the trailer that came out with might look a bit off. And finally, a release date of February 25 into PCs, PlayStation, and Xbox consoles too. Place them is up to you. And Jim Robs. Each of these criminal businesses come with their own characters, gameplay, and rewards. Let's look at just a few of the criminal ventures players will be able to operate, along with the gameplay that comes with them. With a bright future disposal facility, the Saints charge top dollar by illegally dumping corporations' toxic waste. Let's pretend is where you gather your crew to pull off heists, case the location, and serve as a getaway driver to escape the police. The Shady Oaks Medical Center is a front for your insurance fraud scheme. Rack up hefty bills, then claim the cash as your own. As players build their criminal ventures in the locations they want, they'll have a blast seeing our signature Saint Row twist on these criminal fronts. Completing each venture moves the Saints closer to their true goal of running a massive criminal empire. This is Max, Recon Shuttle 2, reporting crash. Can anyone hear me? Come to think of it, technically speaking, there's a huge variety of games you can actually play with only one hand nowadays. In fact, there's more of those than the ones you get to go through with a keyboard. Uh, however, when it comes to wildlife, you actually have to go both hands, because it's an RPG open world game with survival elements, of course, and a, and a bit of the, uh, the other thing. So check this out. Wildlife is actually coming out in its full sometime next year, and there's even a playable demo for it on Steam right now. Survive this. Shorty! Oh, hi. What's up with the Alpha Team? Alpha Team? You missed out on so much! This is my dad. Sometimes these claws can get annoying. Can't you see I'm meditating? Don't scare it off. Not bad. I can't talk. Meet uh, Phantom Galaxies, an RPG that combines the old open world space sim with a fast paced, make 
shooter. What developers of which did describe as the biggest bad-ad mech fighter on the horizon. Phantom Galaxies has actually been in the making for three years now, so that might be true. So in that case, check this out. This game is set to be released sometime in the summer. Next. Currently, we have two starfighters available: an assault unit and a buster unit. The assault unit, the CSF tier, is a balanced unit, perfect for mid-range engagement with options for close and long-range combat. The buster unit, the USF Kierkegaard, is a heavy unit, focused on defense and firepower, sacrifices speed and evasion for sheer raw destructive strength. We do have another open world zombie survival game in a first person too that works just like The Dying Light, but you're in this with the family and uh, no parkour. Zombie Hill Infected City is currently in its early to mid development stage and due out sometime possibly late next year. Anyway, to accompany all that, they even came up with a reveal trailer. Check this out. Raiders said they were heading for the old bridge. Maybe I can cut them off. Horizon Forbidden West is now scheduled to be released on the PlayStation 5 and 4, February 18th next year. Now this time, it is a game with a heavier focus on exploration and a lot of lore to dig into. That is also why the world is even twice as big as the last one, and even considered as an immersive exploration game into a new environment with new tribes and even bigger machines. Bruh. Alori has a new face too. Yeah. There's the bridge. I think I know a way to get there fast. Haven, 
however, is a squad-based tactics semi-open world game in which you can play the story solo or co-op or even online multiplayer with up to four players. This is the work of an indie developer in my opinion, aiming for something just bigger than the usual and it is doing some old good classic magic with it. Check this out, this one's coming to PCs only sometime next year. Then there's Wu Chang, Fallen Feathers, an up and coming action RPG developed by Lindsay Games. Taking enough notes from Bloodborne and Secure Games, it kind of makes the thing look like a crossover sequel to those now. A release date for this game is yet to be announced, but instead of a 2023 release, it's now a 2022 release and into next generation consoles and PCs only. Check this out. <laughs> We're very excited to offer you this exclusive look at Starfield in the exciting universe we've created, which is an area of our solar system we call the Settled Systems. Starfield is also, well thankfully, still on its track of November 11 next year. They even just came up with another Dev Diary trailer, which was a, eh, that this game's timeline is about 300s in the future from now. That said, Starfield is probably Bethesda's most anticipated project at the moment and only targeting Xbox series and PCs. Check this out. Today, the major factions enjoy an uneasy peace, but the settled systems is still pretty dangerous. There are plenty of human threats out there, like ecliptic mercenaries, pirates of the Crimson Fleet, violent spacers, or even the fanatical religious zealots of House Varun. The organization known as Constellation is committed to uncovering the mysteries of the galaxy, and as one of its newest members, you'll explore the deepest reaches of the settled systems, and you'll find yourself at home in the Starfield. This was ours. We ruled this land. We owned the night. Last but not least, if, and it is kind of a big if, but if you're a strategy RPG fan, you got to check out V Rising, an open world game nonetheless, and into a top-down perspective just like Diablo games, but certainly different. Now, V Rising is actually coming out on, on the PCs only. There's even a beta held for the game at the moment, but the game in its full comes out sometime next year. So keep it in mind. Tortured by thirst, choking down dust, starving. Until now. Our hunt begins again.